My name is David Golly from Pentagon Solutions. I'm BIM Consultancy Director and I'm going to have a look at interface points between AutoCAD MEP and Civil 3D and Revit. I'm in my Civil 3D environment now. You can see my site plan and my road and my layby. Uh, also in this I have some drainage uh, layouts and uh, geometry as you can actually see there. So if the background reference mapping for Bing Maps is referenced in which we can turn on or off. So my civil plan is set up as I expected and what I'm going to do is go into my AutoCAD MEP environment. AutoCAD MEP environment would be predominantly for electrical mechanical uh, services. Um, we can reference in the civil 3D geometry. We have done this through using corridor solids. Numerous different ways to do this. You could use a coordination file through Navis, um, etc. But we wanted to bring the corridor solids in because that meant we could actually coordinate against the base layers of the surface. Um, this would be a common thing to do from uh, a coordination perspective. So we're going to route in from this um, electrical box and this is why we use AutoCAD MEP here because we get different routing options and flexibility to change the information where we wouldn't actually have this in the civil environment. So once we've done our routing we can move on to our next section but it represents a very real challenge is how do we get these interface points if there's a certain point where we've routed say to a water pipe and we want to take our connection off for Civil 3D, how do we do it? Well, I'm going to go into the insert area and we're going to add in our data. And this is adding in what's called an Autodesk connection point. We can pick up the center point of the pipe and you can see it's adding a little marker in there, which we can put data behind, such as is the pipe imperial, is it metric, what size it is, what type of connection it is. And this is a great way to get the geometry for what we would, in BIM terms, we would call this the interface point where um, another design team or someone else is actually going to connect into. So I'm going to put it through these two pipes here. These are water main pipes. And um, this means that we can detach the X reference for the Civil 3D now, save this file, and the civil engineer can actually reference this information in. So we're just going to detach this out, or unload it uh, quickly, and then save the file. So in our civil environment, we want to reference that file back in. So we'll browse bring our X-reference back in for the AutoCAD MEP. All the information for the AutoCAD MEP or all the geometry will come in because of the object enablers in that environment. Um, obviously it's important that we spatially coordinate everything even though the AutoCAD MEP drawing is in millimetres it will automatically be scaled. In this instance this particular site is using Irish grid coordinates. So we can see our services are actually coming in and coming aligned. Uh, if I navigate to a 3D view here you can actually see the services as well. So just pop that out to conceptual and we're probably just going to isolate out this um, top base layer so it can make my connection. There is a difference between the level of detail that you'll actually get on the civil 3D geometry and the typical geometry that you may get from the likes of AutoCAD MEP. So the surface information uh, for the actual road and uh, corridor is actually heading out. This is my connection point, so this is great that we actually get to visually see this on the screen. I now know that as my interface point, so when I'm going to generate my pressure network in Civil 3D, I can say this is the water mains. I'm not going to connect into any surface information or any alignments at this. I just know that I need to hook into that actual physical connection point. So I would set up my piping, my elbows, my bends um, as appropriate. Uh, I know that's my connection point I can actually hook into. Might want to just check the legs of my snaps. It will operate based on the uh, node uh, object snap. So you can hook in. And that's me hooking into the AutoCAD MEP environment uh, from Civil 3D. So I can route as uh, normal in there. Um, it should be added that some software, some of the different software, um, you can connect to the center point of the pipe anyway. Uh, but this is good because it actually gives you shows you the physical location of where you're routing to and the orientation of the pipe actually coming out. So that's my Civil 3D hooked in against my the MEP um, piping. You can see the difference between the actual uh, coordination of the information. Okay, so another challenge area really is if we want to bring this information into the Revit environment. Again, this is another example in here. This is an AutoCAD MEP file. Ready, I set up my um, Autodesk connection points. 
I've federated this into uh, a novice environment. So in Revit 2018, we can bring the novice file and we can bring a coordination uh, view file in and you can see that in here. The challenge here is if I go to try and root off that connection point from the novice file, it won't let me snap into any point. Um, and that, that, that is a big issue. So how do we get around this? Well, one of the ways around this is actually to use the native file from AutoCAD MEP. It is a wee bit of a workaround. Normally this won't bring in the geometry, but what it will bring in is the actual coordination points. So I don't need the geometry, I only need those coordination points, it's Autodesk connection points. So I can simply root from the pipe and take it out and um, actually connect in there. So that's been a way to look at MEP to Civil 3D and a way to connect in AutoCAD MEP to Revit.